Hi, it's Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon. One of the issues that comes up sometimes with breast implants used for breast augmentation is the issue of replacement after hardening has developed. Hardening, commonly known as capsule contracture, is when the membrane or the capsule that always surrounds a breast implant subtly is stimulated by unknown forces, so to speak, to tighten and make the implant feel firm, make it more of a, of a ball, so to speak and very often to elevate it. This can happen for a variety of reasons, some of which, is not, uh, some of which are not fully understood. Uh, but depending upon the patient's history and the, and the, the story that they give me, uh, that'll help to determine how I approach it. First of all, everyone has to understand that some people harden and it's, it's just not clear why. So as a doctor, we can only give them the best chance for healing better uh, in a revision surgery by taking out the scar tissue and usually replacing the implant with a new one. Sometimes patients come to me and say, you know, my implants were soft for 20, 25 years and only recently have they developed hardening. To me, that means the prognosis is relatively better. Uh, they're more likely to stay soft because very often as an implant deteriorates after 20 to 25 years, there's a little bit of seepage, maybe microscopic or maybe something that we can see that I believe is stimulating the capsule contracture. Taking out the scar tissue and putting in a new implant often gives the patient, a, I think, a good chance for another 20 to 25 years of softness and a natural result without any additional treatments. However, some people come in with a story that their implant hardened within a short time after their original surgery or maybe after a couple of years. And I think those are people who tend to be more reactive to the presence of the implant. And I think their risk of hardening is higher. For those cases, we try to make any change possible. We will try to change the implant from one pocket to another. That might refer to being under the muscle going to above the muscle. Or if the implant was placed initially above the muscle, we'll put it into a subpectoral position because there's some evidence that creating a new pocket reduces the risk of hardening. It entails more surgery, so I, I don't do it all the time, but it's certainly a consideration. Lastly, for patients who've suffered with hardening, when the implants are being removed and replaced, I will also, I will often recommend the use of a drug which I think has some benefit uh, in reducing, reducing the odds of recurrent hardening. That's called Singular. It, it's actually an anti-asthma medicine, but it's been shown to decrease inflammation in the breast area. And it's certainly not a guarantee that hardening won't occur, but it's my personal experience based on over 25 years of dealing with these issues that it may stack the odds somewhat more in your favor. So those are my thoughts. Uh, remember, after revision surgery, please be careful to restrict the use of your arms because bleeding from being too active can uh, cause a capsule contraction to recur. Rest carefully and avoid any blood thinners, maybe for a few weeks before surgery and certainly for at least a month after. Well, good luck to you and thank you for listening.